The hemlock woolly delgid, because it's a non-native insect, does not have natural enemies that control it like it does where it's from. It's like an aphid. An aphid is an insect that sucks fluids from plants. Here, what ends up happening is the adelgid will build up to very high levels and that will kill trees. The most obvious sign of this insect would be these little woolly tufts on the underside of twigs. That wool can end up on the ground, on broken twigs, and on the bark of hemlock if you look closely enough. Sticky trap sampling takes advantage of the presence of crawlers that might be in a hemlock stand. This stage hatches from eggs and crawls over the hemlock tree to find places where it can settle and start feeding. During that process, the adelgids can fall from the canopy and land on the ground. And so the trap has a glue on it which effectively captures the crawler. The material to do this is readily available, consisting of a wooden stake, some nails, the more specialized part would be the green corrugated plastic sheets that you need. The traps work best when they're 20 centimeters wide by 20 centimeters long. That size of trap easily fits inside a medium sized block bag. The stakes should be pounded into the ground about 50 centimeters. These stakes are about 2 meters long, so the trap effectively would sit at about 1.5 meters above ground. It's important to put the traps in likely areas that the adelgid may show up first or may be more abundant in the stand. And those typically are edges of the hemlock stand. When the traps are done, uh, we put those in Ziploc bags. The traps should be kept frozen as soon as they're brought in from the field. This preserves any insect samples on there. Hemlock is a very, very important ecological species. It tends to exist around water. Because the canopies there and the shading is so dark, the hemlock makes things cool in the summer and, and warm in the winter. And a number of animal and plant species depend on hemlock ecosystems. This monitoring technique is able to detect adelgids when adelgids are just starting to get into the stand. And it's generally regarded as a great time to apply control measures because the infestation is small and it's less costly to treat. If you think you've seen an invasive species, visit www.invasivespeciescenter.ca and click on Report a Sighting to find specific reporting options for your province or territory.